Hey guys, my first full day in Kyoto, we're gonna go exploring. There's gonna be food involved, there's gonna be fish involved, bamboo. I am so excited to explore today. I am right now at the Arashiyama area. This is where I'm gonna see the bamboo forest. But I ran into this shop, check this out. This is such a cool little little place. It uh, looks like a mom and pop shop. And obviously it's been frequented by like Japanese celebrities. And look at this, this fish is roasting right now over charcoal. This is just something I, I've only seen in anime. You can see the fish roll popping out of the fish right now. This is crazy awesome. The outside looks really crispy too. Whoa, besides living on my anime fantasy right now, this is really, really good. Really toasty, crispy on the outside. Oh my gosh. Mmm, oh, meat is so tender. Oh my gosh. Yep, you can eat the fish fins here. You can eat it like a chip. I bet the tail too. Yep. Fish chip. Oh, this is great. It's really just seasoned with some salt. That's it. Oh, the fish eggs right here. Toasty fish eggs. Wow, this is actually really, really good. Mm. Yeah, this fish was definitely prego. Pregnant fish. Oh, I'm eating the heck out of the pregnant fish. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take another picture no, of yeah. the pregnant fish. This is what you do back in the day, <laughs> like what ninjas do. Uh, when At least what they do in anime, I don't know. Uh, no. Also, I got this. This is like veggies wrapped with fish. And uh, I asked the lady, what she just got? And she told me, oh, what she just. Oh, that's just. Flipping amazing. Wow. Oh man. Mmm. Perfect smoky flavor. Man, this is this is one of those foods that it, it just gets better as you're chewing it. For sure. Wow. No, it's amazing. I got one more thing. Oh my God. This is a piece of macro fish, I think and they braise it in some kind of ginger seasoning broth. It's been smoked, it's been marinated. That is a lovely color. Oh God. Get out of town. That might be the best thing I've had here so far. That was juicy. It was juicy, a little sweet. The umami just exploding out of the fish. You gotta come to this little shop. I'll try to find out the name and put it in the description box for you guys. What an amazing find. This is, this will evade my dreams later in a very, very, very intimate way. I just ran into Richard. He watches the show. Hi. Thanks for watching, man. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah. And I just told you to get this fish, the fish oh, yeah. I loved. How is it? It's really good. It's really sweet. And um, like it's, the, the meat is very tender as well. And That's a good recommendation, right? Yeah, that's really, really good. good recommendation. Yeah, yeah. Get, get this fish. So this is their number one dish, the chicken skin. Usually I like my chicken skin crispy, but I, whatever the shop makes, I'm just gonna try it. Oh, love me. Richard, you want a piece of chicken skin? Yeah? I thought chickens can't fly, but that thing, that thing flies really high. Some of you might be a little scared out by chicken skin, but trust me, you gotta try this, you really do. This thing literally, it melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. 
Oh, that's fatty. Wow. I think that was some rice. We perfection. Mm. I saw a lot of uh, older ladies getting the tamago here. I had to do it. This is the freshest tamago I've ever had. And it's so, look at this thing. It is so gentle. <gasps> Whoa, it's wobbly. Dance, tamago. Dance. Dance for me. Chigo. Those are things you should only say to food. I don't think I've ever envied a pair of chopstick more in my life. Look at this. I, I, I really just want to lay on it. Okay. I just don't want to even do this, but... Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. So incredibly delicate. Oh, it smells so eggy and sweet. I, I swear the only way they can make that egg that fluffy and soft is these are actually angels and they make it up in the clouds. Look at the juice here. There's, oh, this is so freshly made. It's a little pool of delicious egg sweat. And this thing is layered so nicely. Look at that. You can't tell me you're not salivating right now. After that bite, I just want to suck on the chopsticks just because it touched the egg. I basically tried almost everything they have in this store, so uh, I, I gotta go. But this is such a such a remarkable find. The food gods have definitely smiled upon me already here in Kyoto. Oh. Already. Wow, so pretty. Seasonal. Oh, seasonal. So this is sweet potato. Which one, uh, Ichiban? Ichiban? A seasonal. Okay. 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 Hi. Uh, I want. Yes. I think I'm just a sucker for really pretty dessert items, and Japan is like filled with them. Hmm. Well, oh, it's just like a yam ball. A little starchy, creamy. Good flavor. It's really smooth on the outside. I think I would like it more with a cup of tea. Not bad though, but I think if you eat a lot, that's definitely gonna fill you up. All right, I got to hit to the tofu restaurant I've been trying to go to for like the last hour, but you know what? Food distractions, always a good thing. So this cotton candy comes on a bamboo stick and uh, you can take it home for souvenir. That's awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. This is Yasuhashi flavor. It's a local Kyoto cinnamon that they put on this massive cotton candy. It's all dusted nicely. Whoa. That's really cinnamony. I haven't had cotton candy in like years and I never really do, but That is quite unique. And also, here's what they have. I think I was covered in bits of cotton candy, but they also put cotton candy over their shaved ice. And I get this is a little gimmicky, but you gotta admit, this is pretty fun. If you like cotton candy, this is, this is very Japanese flavor cotton candy. The flavor is a little artificial, but come on. I mean, it is what it is. It's just cotton candy over shaved ice. What do you expect? By the way, this is still breakfast for me. It's just really fun food right here. Ah, it's about to rain. Probably the worst weather possible if you walk around with cotton candy. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna eat this before, you know, the rain melts it. Kung Fu Master? Sunny Santa Claus? I feel like a panda right now. I'm gonna keep this. Kyoto bamboo. 
Whoa. There's a lily patch, a huge lily patch. They say lotus flowers are the most beautiful. Of course, you don't see any right now, but Chinese people think it's the most beautiful because because we say he hua chu yu ni er bu ran, which means that they are able to be in the mud, grow up all in there, and all that muck does not affect their beauty. Ah, big koi fish. The tofu restaurant I'm going to is actually inside the temple complex. This is so pretty. Check it out. It's in there. This city, I'm so in love with this city. You know, it's that feeling like, like you belong together, you know, that kind of soulmate thing. I think I got that with the city. Here it is. This is the tofu restaurant. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. How do I, how do I go in? Ah, I think, there. Oh, wow. I cannot believe how beautiful this restaurant is. I'm in the middle of a bamboo forest. I gotta check the trees for ninjas right now. This is unbelievably beautiful. I cannot believe this is a restaurant right now. My little bamboo stick is back with his family. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. So gorgeous. Oh, hi. Tofu here is usually handmade the day of, and it's supposed to be the best in Japan. Because there's so many temples and shrines here, of course, a lot of the monks in them are vegetarian, so they really perfected the art of making tofu over a thousand years. Itadakimasu. This looks so incredible. This tofu, you gotta be really careful with this thing. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The texture of this tofu is unreal. Mm. Wow. You just slip this with a straw, no question. It is just such a tender piece of tofu. You can taste the fresh soybeans that this is made from. Little scallion, little ginger, a little bit of soy. Mm. Perfectly mild sausage. Ah. <laughs> because you don't want anything to really change the flavor or take away from the taste of this tofu. Mm. Oh, this is magical. This is like the holy grail of tofu meals right here. Mm. <laughs> this is so interesting. So you eat the miso with the little, looks like little, maybe mung bean noodles underneath. Mmm. Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. Oh, boy, she. Wow. I think is some kind of jelly. It's a little crunchy. Oh, so good. Oh. That, that is the color you want to see. That's like a sunset in a bowl. Dang. So everything is A little bit of sweet, a little umami flavor. I'm enjoying this experience so much right now. It's so unbelievable. Everything is so unbelievable so far. 
It's like a fried, it's like a fried tofu ball. Oh, it's kind of dense. Oh, it's like a ginkgo nut on the inside. I'm in love with this place. This plum is amazing. Everything is so delicate and elegant and the flavors are so clean. This is the prime example of what I love about Japanese cuisine. Each dish is made with so much care. You can taste it. Uh, radish is actually excellent. One of my favorite things in Japan is tempura. Put some of the radish in here. Mm. I'm gonna live here now. Japanese tempura. I love how the ingredients, the veggies, are actually super crunchy and fresh after being fried. It's unbelievable. Okay, I shouldn't put my food that much. This tofu, you just eat as is. Oh my God, how is this? That's what sesame and tofu's baby would taste like. Seriously, sesame, tofu had a baby. I just ate it. It's so smooth. And then the sesame flavor hits you, you just did the sesame bomb explode. That was intense, shockingly amazing. You know what's also amazing about this dining experience? You saw the, you saw the restaurant, right? And where I'm sitting, like you can just look outside and it's raining. I'm one Disney movie away from just having the perfect day. Just so cozy sitting here, looking at the bamboo forest, feeling like on a chilly rainy day and I'm sitting here eating a tofu hot pot. This is as good of an experience as I've ever had eating anywhere. And trust me, this is not just a meal. This is 100% experience. Dessert time, tofu pudding, what else? Of course. Hmm. Ah. ah, some tofu pudding. Ah, a little bit of tea. Ah, perfect conclusion to this meal. Just perfect. Ah. I really can't even right now. Anyway, all the places I went to, I'll put in the description box for you, obviously. Try them out. This has been such an amazing day so far. Now again, if tofu is your thing, this is your paradise. Right here. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later. Do I still have room in my stomach? Oh, I'm gonna have to switch to my backup stomach. Let's keep this food day going. This is some kind of rotten starch dumpling. Don't eat that. Oh my gosh. This looks crazy. It just looks like, it's like something melted in here. It looks like ectoplasm a little bit with bubbles. It, it seriously looks like Slimer's cousin. Oh my gosh. This is so trippy. Look at this. This is like, it's, it's like quicksand. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah. Oh, this is so, this is so trippy. This is actually, Really, really fun. Now give me a couple packs of matcha to put in here. <laughs> this is so slimy. This is... It tastes exactly 
like you, you would think it would taste. It, it's, it's like a really soft mochi. It's like I just ate a ghost. Oh, you definitely need some water or tea when you're eating this. The flavor. It's not bad. It's, it's like a halfway between a pudding and a piece of mochi. So it's softer, gooier than mochi. It's chewy, but it doesn't have as chewy of a texture as mochi. It's a little bit melting your mouth. I'll leave it at that. It's interesting. It's not bad. It's just really interesting. And again, if you're going to eat this, make sure you have some tea with you.